Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring Kid. So today I'm going to be doing my completed pages for February and I just want to say, sorry that this will be a bit late, I've just been really busy lately. Um, I had a music concert yesterday and I got back really, really late. I didn't go to bed till about quarter to twelve, but uh, yeah, uh, needless to say I'm quite tired and I've just been busy over the last couple of days, so this will be a bit late. Um, firstly, I just want to show you a few other things that I've coloured before I actually move on to the books. So, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it to you, but each month I colour... No, sorry, each year I colour my mum 12 uh, postcards so that she can open one up each month. So I make her 12 and give them to her on Mother's Day and then she has one to open at the start of each month. So this year... Mother's Day is on the 31st of March and I've started doing my postcards. I've taken out all the ones that I'm doing. Um, and these are the Royal, the, these are the RHS uh, colouring postcards. And there's loads and loads of flowers. Um, and they're quite grayscale. They, they've got quite a lot of grayscale on them, which is quite good as well. Because it just means I'll get things done quite quickly. Um, my mum's also told me, you know, like what colours they should be or what colours she wants them to be. So, also got that. So, I've completed three, which I will show you. So, I've got this one. And I do these all with super colour watercolour pencils and I actually use them as watercolour. So, this is kind of the onions and the vegetables and things. I did a really light blue background. Um, but that's that one. So I'm kind of calling these a completed page, but it's that one. I've got these flowers, and I've completely forgotten what they are, but I did use a reference for them. And I'm happy with this one. I actually mixed a purple and a pink together to create this colour. Um, soon after realising that I did have a colour that would match it better, but very well. And yeah, I'm happy with that one. All I need to do with this is go up... Sorry, I just shook the camera. All I need to do with this is go over with a light soft pastel background and then it will be done. And same for this one, the snowdrops, that's all I need to do for this as well. I'm not sure if you can tell but on the leaves, uh, on the leaves, on the petals you probably can't tell. But I've done a really light blue tinge on the ends and then a tiny, tiny bit of pink just coming down. Just so that they weren't completely white because they are meant to be white. But yeah, I'm just going to do a blue background on that too and they will be done. So they're the three that I've done out of the 12. And I've still got practically the whole month to do the others. And the watercolours don't take that long. I'd say all of these took me about 45 minutes. So yeah, it's good. So first completed page. As you know, we did it as a colour along. And it seems like ages ago that we did it, but... Um, it was right at the start of the month that I actually completed it, so this is the lady with the deer. And none of you actually saw it finished, um, because I just showed you how to do it one, one of one thing, so one of these flowers, one of these flowers, and things like that. So this is actually the picture finished. Um, I didn't put any glitter on this, I just put... Um, Signo white gel pen um, on these dots, on her dress, on the flowers, on the deer. So I didn't use any glitter and I didn't feel like I needed to. I made her kind of look like Ivy from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly just because of the dress it was practically the same colours. The hair kind of was and the skin was the same too. Um, and I'm really happy with this. I actually really like these flowers and I'm, I'm really happy overall with the colour palette. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to doing even more in here. I think I've done five pages now in here, but that's good. So there's Saga Oxagna by Emily Lytle Oberg. Okay, this is probably one of my favourite pictures of the month. So I've just randomly decided that I would like to work in Dreamery from start to finish and eventually finish the book. I don't know when I'll finish it. It will probably be ages because it's not going to be a continuous thing like World of Flowers or Fantastic Zoo and stuff like that. But I hadn't worked in it for ages and I got it last May and I'd only done one picture which I'll show you. Um, and now I can't find it. This is really helpful. There you go. 
and as I explained in my last video, uh, if you haven't seen that, the pastels are quite faded just because these are the ones that my mum had and they're not as vibrant as others that I have but I'm really happy with this page and I never went back to the book and I was like okay why didn't I so um yeah anyway the picture that I did was this one so this is the first page and I'm so happy with this one it, this is definitely one of my favorite pages of the month um, I just love the colours, I love the colour palette. I used just Fable Castell pencils, apart from one brown, the sandbar brown, for the, um, you know, the, um, what they called the ribbons. But, yeah, I'm so happy with this, and I just, I tried to keep the colour palette cohesive by using the same pinks, just a different way, with these flowers, and then just adding a purple. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with this, and the blue background I think just adds so much to it. It was, actually, sorry, the background was two um, Prisma colours. But yeah, I love it so much. <laughs> so happy with it. And I've kept a colour palette for these oak leaves and the acorns, so that when I go through the book, there's a, this page here, I have the colours. So yeah, I'm so happy with that, and I put... Wink of Stella, you probably can't see it. Oh, there we go. I put Wink of Stella on the label tag things. And then I recently just got a jelly roll at three jelly roll clear pens. So I outlined that and went over the writing too. So, yeah, I'm so happy with that. And I can't wait to carry on. And I've just got these simple things to do for... Um, for that. Tom, would you mind closing the door, please? Yeah. Sorry, um, Tom and my mum have just come home. Oh, sorry, I just knocked the camera. So, coming to my last two books, and this is where, you know, obviously I do lots in them. I've got Fantastic Zoo and World of Flowers. So, I completed this uh, little spread thing. I think I mainly showed you all of it completed but I hadn't completed these pages like five and six. It wasn't much anyway but I just wanted to show you that I did finish those. Um, so firstly this is the deer. Again we did uh, uh, colour along with this one and again you didn't see this finished. So mostly you saw the deer completed but you didn't see it all the bit up here and I've also added some light brown and a skin type colour um, on the background of the pastel just to match the body. Um, I use Uniball White Signo and I'm so happy with this one. Uh, I'm really looking forward to actually getting this book completed just because it will be so nice when it's all done. I'm not sure if I mentioned it to you, but I'm getting this for my mum for Mother's Day. She does know about it. Um, because the, the cards, obviously I don't pay any money for those. I mean, we bought them 75% like, off or whatever to colour. But um, yeah, I'm getting her this book so that we can do more kind of buddy colours together. Uh, so that'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, she, she does them very different to mine. I do mine so that they match the colour of the animal, you know, all the Zentangles, and she does it completely different. She does random colours, and they both look really different and really pretty, so that's that one. So we did this donkey, so my mum did this donkey with me. I'm not sure if I've got her picture, actually. Hang on. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I do have it. Let me show you. So I printed these out onto copy paper, you know, just cheap paper, and this was hers. So as you can see, completely different to mine. Hers is much brighter compared to mine. Um, I kind of kept to the same colours for the Zentangles, and their parcels were kind of just ordinary parcel colours, but I really like hers too. She really enjoyed doing it too, and um, using the white signo and things, and I did um, in lots of the areas as well so that's that one and again I just added a really light brown slash grey background onto that 
So this is what I'm working on, this is my current work in progress, I'm just going through the book so that it's easier. So this is the giant tortoise, now there's loads and loads of turtles and tortoises in this book. So this specifically is the giant tortoise and there were two pictures of um, the giant tortoise that I really liked. One had mainly a blue shell um, and one had mainly a brown shell so I thought okay why don't I put them together. So. I think it's actually worked really well, so I've finished the actual turtle, apart from just a few few things here and there. Um, and then all I've got is the tree on its back to do, and I've done most of the bubbles and things like that, so uh, really I don't have a lot, it's just whether I want to go back to it soon, because I've been doing it for quite a while, I think I've been doing it for at least a week and a bit now, just because I've been working on other things and I started it when I was at my grandparents and you know there's, there's been lots of breaks and lots of stuff going on, so yeah, but I love the colour palette that I used for the body of the turtle and I've got all of these colour palettes written down so that I can reuse them if I want to. Again I used white signal on that. So this was the Birds of Paradise title page that I finished. Again, all my usual pencils that I would use uh, with my you know, colour palette that I always use for this book. So I'm really happy with this one too. This one didn't take too long, it's just I mostly did it at school just because I didn't have a lot of time. So for me this did take quite a while, even though it's not too detailed. And again I did a little pink background. And the birds here, the long-tailed fowl, I actually realised was basically a chicken with a really long tail. So it was really odd because there was there's a page of a chicken somewhere here. And I was like, okay, there's no chicken thing in the contents, but it turns out it is the long-tailed fowl. So that's that. And then we've got the little spot billed ducks down here too. That's that one. So the next page I did um, with Susie, um, from Susie's Colouring Cottage as a buddy colour. I'm not sure if she has done it yet, but uh, this is mine and obviously it depends the buddy colours, you know, it doesn't matter when we do it. Um, it's just a nice thing to do if we um, want to do a buddy colour. And if anyone else does want to do them, just um, leave me an email or a comment and we can do that. So. Uh, I'm really happy with this one. I finished it up for you on camera. I did the pastel background and the white gel pen and a few of these leafy things. Uh, and I'm really happy with this one. This was quite a simple one to do. I basically did all of it um, during half term and then just left a tiny few things to do for the video. So there's that one. Finally, we have the trunk fish, which was one of the first ones that I did in the month actually. Uh, but I'm showing it to you last. So again, same uh, same things. I've got a blue background to match the fish. I love my shading on the fish. The, it's coming out brighter than it actually is. It's more kind of purpley blue, um, but I love it. And I used some of my newish. I bought some Dermot artists um, a while ago. Probably about six of them open stock, and they had a really light blue and a really light purple, and I used them. And I'm really, really happy uh, with this. So, yeah, and then the tree obviously took a while compared to the fish, because the fish is so tiny. But yeah, that's that one. So I'm not sure how many we did. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, because of the Birds of Paradise. Okay, so we did six actual pictures in this, and then other bits too. So there's that one, and finally all the flowers, so got quite a few in here as well. So this wasn't one of the first that I did, but I'm just showing you, um, them to you in order. So this is a double page spread of the plant pots. Uh, the plant pots took quite a while, um, but obviously with pots, once I knew what colour palettes I was using, it was quite simple to do and I tried to vary the I tried to vary the different browns that I was using. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one and I I love the different colours that I used for I think I mainly had the, the blue, the purple and the pink for all of the flowers. Um, and then I had the different greens.
but yeah I really like this one and I think I managed to kind of condense it down so there wasn't too many different colours yeah I really like that one um, I did this one which was a very simple one and not one of my favourites um, I do like it but I kind of agreed with what my mum said some of it's not um, bright enough it's quite dull and that's kind of what I like I like um, I kind of like colour palettes like that but um, I do like the plant pots that I the colour that I used for these pinkish um, nectar type colours uh, for the plant pots um, and I kept the same blue one too um, and I think the blue background does help actually because it was really bare before I put it on and I do like the apple that's probably one of the only bright things aside from the wall that's in this so, so I then did these two. Um, this one was I I kind of did before Valentine's Day. I can't really remember when. Oops, I think it was a couple of days before that I finished it, and I'm really happy with this one. Um, sorry if you can hear the classical music in the background. That's my dad in the kitchen, but um. Yeah, I love the colour palette for this, and especially this really big flower here. I'm really happy with how I managed to um, make it look um, like there was all the veins on the flower. And I really like the use of the white gel pen around the picture and trying to uh, look the placement of the colours. I used um, my new uh, clear glitter jelly roll on the ladybird the bee up here and there's a butterfly here too so that's that one and then I did the opposite page right at the start of the month and I love this one because it's got bleeding hearts and I love um, those flowers it's also one of my mum's favourites too um, and I really like how I coloured them and I don't mind that they're quite bright I never usually do uh, really bright um, colours but I really like how they turned out and I really like the potion bottles as well. I was worried because uh, I've, I've coloured lots before, but I really wanted to make them look good. And I, I love how they turned out. And I like these purple flowers too, because they were slightly different to these ones. Uh, but yeah, I really like this one. And I like the tiny little background here with the dots as well. So yeah, there's that one. Then I did this one when we were away at my grandparents because I just thought I needed to get it done because it's one of the really tedious and boring ones so this is just a repeater pattern repeated about 10 times um, and I just did it uh, so that I coloured one whole of uh, one whole thing and then I just had the same colour palette for all of them um, and then I did a blue pastel background and white gel pen and then on all of the butterflies I went in with my wink of Stella and then outlined it with my clear glitter jelly roll. My clear glitter jelly roll has basically replaced my uh, Signo glitter gel pen uh, just because the Signo glitter gel pen is a bit more silvery whereas this jelly roll is more clear. It's still not fully clear but it's really good. Okay, the next one was this fairy house again that I did when I was at my grandparents. Um, I love the wood type colour on the roof and the door. I love these mushrooms here. I have used this colour palette quite a lot in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and um, in other places I kind of used it here too. Um, and I love how it turned out. Um, and it didn't take too long. I think it, I did it over a period of two days, but I did, um, you know, like basically most of the house uh, one night and then I just finished everything else the next day. Uh, there's no glitter on this one. I only really put glitter on the bugs or butterflies just so that it's kind of more fun that way because then you can tell what the bugs and things are just from looking at the picture. Because sometimes they're quite hidden, but yeah, I really like this one. And finally, last page was one that technically I think was 
either right at the end of the month or the 1st of March, but it couldn't have been the 1st of March because that was Friday. Yeah, so it wasn't. It was literally at the end of February, maybe the 27th or the 28th. And this colour palette was a bit different uh, for me. It wasn't one that I would usually go for, um, just in terms of these pinks and this uh, colour palette for the flower here. I also never use bright purples that much, so this purple here was the Imperial Violet from Prismacolor, um, mixed with light peach, and I really, really like that colour palette. Uh, also, these this green here, which is quite bright compared to everything else, but I think it kind of blends in, and I do like it. Um, these two colours were one of two of Sammy, uh, Sammy from Colour and Chat with Sammy. Um, she did some colour palettes the other day when she was colouring her jellyfish to do some leaves. And I really like this one. So this was lime peel and moss green that I used for that one. And then you can't really tell because it's so tiny. But I also used her other one which is celadon green and dark green just here. And then I used the celadon green again um, here with a couple of the other greens. Um, and I really like how it turned out. And this was just prism colour and I never, never used just one um one brand. Um, again, I use glitter on the butterflies, and yeah, I really, really like this one. It's probably one of my favourites actually, and it literally just took me an evening. So it was a very simple one to do, but yeah, I love that. So that's everything. Wow, I did do quite a lot. I didn't really. Obviously, I had half term, so I could kind of do more pictures um, in that time. But still, I. I never used to do that many, but yeah, I'm, ha I'm happy with the amount that I did. So that's everything. And I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I will see you on my next video. I'm not sure what it will be yet, but uh, whenever I decide to do it, then yeah, I will do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!